Where are we going? Uh, some big freaking spiral in the middle of nowhere. You want to tell me more about it? Uh, as far as I can remember, some dude named like Larry or something and his roommate rented a bowl. Oh my god, it's Smith said. It's Smith said. Smithson? <laughs> yes. I like Larry. Uh, of course you do. <laughs> The uh, when does they went all over the world looking at, at weird shit like Stonehenge? Mm -hmm. Found the desolate wasteland that is Utah. Near the like, Great Salt Lake. And they're like, this needs its own weird thing. Got a couple of bulldozers. Made a spiral. Mm hmm. Giant fucking spiral. No one knows. And we're gonna go see it. We're gonna go see it. Okay. And then we're gonna get sword. Huh. <laughs> What's your opinion on land art? Uh, well, it's my understanding it is quite unique to this area, or at least to America, because there's nothing out here, so might as well put something out here. So you need a lot of big open space? A lot of big open nothingness. There's plenty of that. It's like any other kind of expression, I guess. It's when you felt something and made something, it's just uh, unique because you can make it bigger than anything that ever, any painting ever really could be. And you don't have to work within city limits and standards. Yeah. Cool. But then you got to worry about wildlife, and, you know, weather, and, and longevity, and all that kind of stuff. I feel like if you're if you're committing to land art, you're more or less committing to longevity. It's not going to be a thing. Right. There's that much, you know, unless you're going to put it several billion dollars. So making sure that the spiral jetty never gets, you know, weathering done to it, it's going to eventually disappear. So you just used a bunch of construction tools and it mostly just laid out a bunch of rock, right? Yep. All right. A couple of bulldozers, front end load loaders, moved a bunch of rocks into a giant spiral. Cool. Let's go see it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? That's what the guy said. From the artist himself. This, this area. That's right. <laughs> the artist said this area reminded him of DK. And therefore he built something decaying. Equipment that's supposed to be able to travel on other planets. Rather inhospitable place. Uh huh. That's just the people. <laughs> So yeah, no, this isn't like sand. This is one giant crystal. In fact, you can see them. Because salt Oh form, yeah, you can see them form. Salt forms in giant, uh, more or less. Structures. Like, yeah, it forms giant crystal structures, like squares and things. So you can actually see it. That's so cool. And it's all, it's. it's this entire thing. Yeah. If you zoom in on this, they're all perfect little squares. Because it's all perfectly, you know, evaporated, you know, the water evaporates and the salt crystallizes into these perfect little square structures. All stacked on top of each other. Where it lines up, where it like, it crystallized in like, striations. So there's a slight discoloration between light and dark arc going this way. You see that? Mm-hmm. Look what you did. And the 
ground is completely dehydrated beneath it. Yeah. Ooh. These are large, pure salt crystals, if I had to guess. Oh, that's so cool. Probably you had a pool of water here. You see from the rock? Mm -hmm. Did some kind of like an eddy or a jetty or something. So the water just pooled in this area and it just slowly, slowly evaporated. And so instead of forming a lot of small crystals, create a couple of big ones. A very large, real clear, well, not clear, opaque crystal formed. And you So what'd you think? What do you think of your first, well maybe not first, but an example of land art? Uh, it makes sense, I guess, why someone would be drawn onto this area, this kind of a thing. Yeah, it feels almost alien. Yeah, the whole, you know. There's no sound other than other people. Yeah. There's no bugs, hardly any birds. Puppies. We There's puppies, them. but you know, humans brought those. It's very dead, uh, to quote the artist. Place in, in decay. Yeah. I see why they do nuclear testing out here. Yeah. <laughs> or why they wanted to. Or, yeah, definitely why they wanted to.